Hey guys, Bertus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Beginners Tutorial Series. And in today's episode, we're going to be showing you how to create um, some basic AI inside of Unreal Engine. So if you take a quick look inside of my viewport, you can see I've got a player chasing me. Um, that is all AI and it's all created inside of Blueprint. I'm pretty much going to be showing you how you can replicate that. And this can work for pretty much any type of project you create, not just the uh, third person Blueprints. If I go ahead and show you another little project I'm working on here with a little um, spaceship, you can see that if I go run in front of it, you know, it chases me and it will keep on following me, um, you know, unless it's told to do so uh, or otherwise. Anyway, so without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and show you how it's created. So, like I said, it's all created inside of Blueprints and we're actually using an AI character class for this. Um, it's actually... Um, we're pretty much going to be duplicating the normal player pawn and then we're going to be ad uh, adding some additional script to that. So, let's just go ahead and see what I've done. So. In here it's quite simple really just for basic movement and that's what we're going to be showing you today so as you can see here the event for this um, for the player for the AI actually chasing us is going to be on see the pawn that's going to be when it actually sees the player character it's going to uh, cast to the third person character with that we can then communicate with it and get a reference to the target the target being the player and then we're just going to use the AI move node to set the destination. And that destination can either be in a vector value or it can also be an actor. In this case, the actor is actually going to be the third person character or whatever, you know, player character blueprint you're working with. Anyway, so without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how you can do all of this stuff. So first things first, I'm going to quickly go ahead and delete the uh, the AI character. And before we can actually use AI inside of a level, we need to set up a few things. The first thing we need to do is set up a nav mesh. This allows the uh, AI to actually see where and he where he can and can't go within the level. And you can do this by creating a nav mesh bounds volume. So let's just go ahead and create one. You can do that by going over to the left hand side, go to volumes and add in a nav mesh bounds volume. Now make sure you go ahead and scale this so it uh, covers the entire level or the whole area that you actually want the player to walk inside. Now I've already made one of these to scale it up. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. We've got here already. It should say building navigation. Once it's done that you should be all set up for AI. So like I said um, we're going to be pretty much copying the default player blueprint right now as it already has movement and uh, rotation and all that cool stuff set up. So just go ahead and right click it and press duplicate. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to call this AI character for now. Um, once you've done that, just go ahead and open it up. You can get rid of all of the input stuff as the AI won't be using that. And now that we've done that, we've got to do a few things. So the first thing we need to do is go to the viewport and we need to delete the camera actor and the follow camera. You won't be seeing that. Like I said, it's AI. We won't need it. What we do need to add, however, is something called a pawn sensing um, AI component. This essentially um, allows the... AI or the blueprint to actually sense other pawns. In this case, that pawn is going to be the third person character. So just go ahead and press compile and then go ahead and click pawn sensing again. You can see you've got these green lines and this is essentially the vision of the AI. So vision isn't necessarily always like that. You're not going to have a complete 90 degrees um, peripheral vision. You're only going to see um, in front of you in sort of like a little cone a bit more like this. So if you wanted to, to make it a little bit more realistic, you can play around with the uh, peripheral vision. Just go ahead and press pawn sensing and then just change it down to something like uh, 45 is pretty reasonable and that's pretty much roughly what we have um, in real life. You've got a whole bunch of other different settings here that you can play around with but for now the most important one is going to be adding in the components and then just changing the peripheral vision. Okay, now we've done that, let's go ahead and set up some of the script. It's quite simple really. Um, all we got to do is, the first thing we need to do is add an event. The event in this case is going to be on seeing the character. So basically, until it sees a character, it's going to do nothing. Um, so just go ahead and right click. With the pawn sensing component selected, just type in on and see pawn. From that, you need to cast to the player character. That will allow us to communicate with the player character. So just go ahead and do that. Just drag the execute and type in cast to, and then type in third person character or whatever your default player character blueprint is. Now hook up object to pawn. 
And from here, we need to execute the next bit, which is going to be AI move to. And from here, this essentially allows us to, um, you know, tell the AI to move to a location. Like I said, you can set that to a target actor, or you can also set it to a destination using a vector value, and that's going to work on your map. Anyway, so the pawn is going to be itself. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just go ahead and hook up target actor as third person character for now. So it actually targets us. And the AI move to, the pawn is what you actually want to move the AI. So what we need to do is reference it to itself. You can't just drag in the whole class. Um, and it doesn't set, allow, allow you to actually type self. So drag it out. And then when you get this little bit here, just type in make uh, reference to self. Just type in self and it will say get a reference to self, drag that in, and now it should be all ready. So if we go ahead and compile this, close the blueprint, and then drag in the AI character, wherever it is. I'm gonna chuck it in here for now. I'm gonna press play, possess, and you can see when I'm out of its peripheral vision, it's not gonna do anything. However, when I actually go and run in front of it, it's going to start chasing me. It's pretty much as simple as that. And that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you for this tutorial. It's a very simple introduction to AI. Play around with it, see what you can do. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.